Hey, I'm trying to function with you. you. Me and you look like we could go together. You got some friends for the crew. crew. Party priority gotta be fucking with niggas who know what to do. do. This Kush I got is hella smelly. Let's go to the telly and see what, what the it fuck do. you doing. And who you think that you playing with? I'm trying to fuck with you. And my niggas want who you can with. You can be yourself with me. I don't mean on that lame shit. You trying to turn up. Well, guess what? We on the same shit. We should throw a party. I gave her a key, can see with the shit. Drinking a drink while I'm twisting the split. I roll it, I light it, we smoke it, we lit. I roll it, I light it, we smoke it, we lit. Whenever she take a sip, she lick her lips. We hanging her body, banging like a crit. I'm trying to see just how crazy she can get. I'm trying to see just how crazy what she can get. What the fuck you doing? And who you think that you playing with? I'm trying to fuck with you. And my niggas want who you came with. You can be yourself with me. I don't mean on that lame shit. You trying to turn up. Well, guess what? We on the same shit. We should throw a party. Yeah, we should throw a party. It's a private party. Yeah, it's a private party. Hey, yo, get your thoughts out of the man. I appreciate y'all having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Sir. Ah, <laughs> tell these niggas. The opinions expressed on this show does not reflect the ones of the Get Your Bars Up Media platform. Therefore, stay at your moist-ass feelings and get your bars up, you bitch. In the words of Capology Facts, Holy Cell TV, that is. Uh, we got that Northwest Media. Talk to him. Yo, yeah, Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. Ah! Yeah, Northwest Media. Yeah, Northwest Media. What up, world? It's your boy, B.A. For Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up, Media Salute, Salute, Salute. Ah! So, we are back up in this thing. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. First and foremost, I want to shout out to the Sky Tier Northwest. I have to shout out to my brethren. You feel me? Demon, Art, Rome 206, which y'all put together was spectacular. But I know, I know, I know y'all waiting. Y'all like, damn, what's up with the recaps, though, B? You do the same ass intro. Blah, 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 blah. Nigga, get your bars up. And hold your horses. It's coming. But Sky Tier Northwest just had a fire event that just happened uh, the day before last or whatnot called the Upper 360. Now, what made this car super duper monumental was it's, this is the first time that the event was actually thrown somewhere where nobody would even think about even hosting the battle you feel me right off the water shout out to the lump shout out to my brethren and my sisters and my brethren out there in the lummy nation salute to y'all appreciate y'all for having us 100 percent. but with that being said the upper 360 car was full of dope battles you feel me uh specifically one battle that was the main event had to happen the following day but you know i was up in that thing right you know i was up in that thing right but with that being said um the very first battle that I had up that I remember watching was specifically uh C3 versus Hero. Now this battle, this battle was actually pretty dope. But I can I, I, I can tell y'all how it is, which I will, which I will in a sec. But uh honestly, the very first thing I want to do is actually to show y'all uh show y'all an actual clip of the battle. Let's proceed. You was on Facebook saying you take a strong to open your third eye. Not knowing the third got a cat that'll open that shit for real. Out right. the gates, no cat can't play with this loser. Said you built a court in your back, yo, still can't play. You a shooter, Mr. Dan. Yo, why you put this loser up against me? I get it. Easy win. Do I get the name I really want, huh? Y'all convince me. It seems art designed to picture the perfect body. Oh, like Leonardo da Vinci. I went from in there. Yeah. I don't want to hear no sound. Not even a little bit. You a little geek, catch you on the rebound. C3 against the class like a window seat. You just better keep your eyes down. Why would it point at the head of your widow beat? So what happened? Come on. I thought you'd have something to say. So what happened? 
thought you had something to say. If you don't video chat, you were acting so strange, your MT wanted the fame, and we all saw C3. Zoom! Hit the escape, you ain't got no friends. C3 gets the glass like a window. Ah! Now, this battle in particular, this is a debatable battle to me, y'all. You feel me? Like, this was my ex, this is my first time actually hearing and seeing uh, Hero for the first time. Um, I, by, by watching what C3 has been doing lately this year, has got me, ha had me thinking, okay, I've watched C3, never, never even really, even, I've heard of Hero, but I've never seen him. So with this being like the first battle of me seeing him, I actually got a really dope impression. I got a good impression. And he showed out, but C3 showed out too. And when it comes to this battle specifically, both of them had bars and uh, both of them had energy. I think C3 had a different type of energy, but Hero had that aggression, y'all. He had that aggression. He was talking. This one, definitely, I would, lo I would love to watch this again, but... Uh, if I had to get the first round of somebody, I would love. I, I would say, the first round, I would. I would definitely. I would have to edge it to. I would edge the first round to C three. I love the substance. I love the substance in this pin. Uh, second round. Second round. I think Hero took off in that second round to me. I like. I liked Hero in that second round. Um, I had a one one going into the third. The third round. Third round was a debatable round to me. The third round was very debatable to me. It could have went either way. So uh, with the battle being this fire, with the battle being this particular fire, um, had soft man, what what, what y'all did for the culture was uh was was humongous. Uh, was was huge. You feel me? Y'all both set the bar for the event. So and I know both of y'all watching this shit. So salute to y'all. We gotta book both of these fellas again, y'all. We gotta book them again. I don't want to. I don't want to have to wait six, seven months for these niggas, and they and they and they definitely got their bars up. Don't play, don't play. One thing about this battle in particular that 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 I did not that 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 I wasn't very high on was just the the, the crowd talking it was like the very first few battles was like that where the crowd was kind of talking through their material, which I knew kind of threw them off a little bit. But at the same time, they're professional. You feel me? You get they're getting paid for their crafts. And uh, they still, they fought through it, and they both still were fired. But, uh, yeah, this one could definitely be 2-1 either way. Definitely 2-1 either way. Uh, next up, we got Show Out the Mac versus J Flo. Now, this battle, this battle in the building was, was I don't know. Hey, what, hey do we, do, hey, do y'all not like Show Out the Mac? I think he's fire. Does he need to work on this pin? Sure, a lot of people do. Performance and everything is up to par. And I know people got the stigma of him being a fake this and a fake that, all of that. Nah, when we talk about bars, the young fella does got it. But J Flo, <laughs> J Flo is talking though. J Flo is talking. But with that being said, let's get to this footage. J Flo, <laughs> shit. Show out the mat. Show the world what you talking about. Let's get it. No. Or did say nigga. Or did say nigga. Or else I would have checked his ass quick, but then it switched. Or hit me again like, yo, show out, bad news. Ass came back out. I told you he act like a bitch. I said, damn. So what does this mean for the fifth? He said, don't trip because I got you. J Flow. An even easier win. I said, damn. If that's how you feel, then this shit's gonna be lit. Click. So we got show out the map versus. Nigga, hush, can't say me. All gas, all gas, no break. Like when policemen chase you, take two. Shots to end his life. One's gonna go in the side of his head, the other's gonna come out the side of his wife. Nigga, believe all the hype. Then you want some slip. Catch my second strike, call this round the bowling ball now. I just ah. wanna say, I just wanna say, I forgive you, bro. I forgive you for being a little bitch getting exposed and then going ghost from the page. See, Sean, I forgive you because I believe your dumb ass can learn from the errors of your ways, now, homie. I even forgive you for fucking up my opportunity to rap in the same card as Bankhead and Jay. See, homie, I forgive you. And on that topic, that's all I got to say. Psychics, I should punch you in your motherfucking face and we gonna talk about it. How dare you get on a URL stage representing Washington State knowing you're a motherfucking faker? 
The coroner should have zipped you up. They ain't even here. The coroner should have zipped you up. Now I gotta bury you. For those who don't understand the plot, well, he can get let the Northwest Undertaker become the narrator. See, this little bitch. Oh, see, this little, he was talking. I think that um, when it came to this battle, if I had, I, I would have to get the first two rounds uh, to J Flo. I think J Flo had it. J Flo definitely had it this battle to me. Um, I feel like the third round show out took, and I wish that that third round show out showed up the first two rounds. I feel like show out kind of let the crowd, the crowd not going crazy, niggas talking in the background. He kind of let that get to him. It's what it looked like to me. You feel me? And I talked to the young fella after the battle, and I was like, yo, man, yo, but not to take anything from J Flow. J Flow came in and he did what he's supposed to do. Young man stepped up, and your promotion game is on a hundred. The way that you promote, even when you in FB jail, you still promote. That's how you promote. All y'all battle rappers that's trying to come up, make a name for yourselves, y'all should be promoting y'all brand like a motherfucker. Cause J Flow know how to do that. Not to take anything away from J Flow though, but uh, show out. Show out was dope. And I felt like his second round, he picked it up. His first round, he was flat. Second round, he picked it up. Third round, he took off. And J Flo in that third round, he was dope too. But what you call it, man? He was talking. Yo, Show Out was talking. Show Out was talking to me. To me, he was talking in that third. I I, I heard a few people say 30. I see uh, I see a few people say 2-1. But yeah, I got it 2-1. And I got it, I got a, a clear 2-1. I got it a clear 2-1 first watch. Um Maybe in the second watch, that second round will be debatable, but in the building, I'm sorry. Looking at it, and me, I don't miss too many bars because I've been doing this shit for a minute. I I, I think J Flow got that clearly, 2-1. Um, I think this is a stepping stone for them both. And with that being said, nobody choked. Nobody choked this whole event. That's what made this event even more fire, too. <laughs> MCs came and brought it. Um, but, yeah, I got I got J Flow 2-1. Um, show out. That third round, I need you to study that third round. Study your third round. You feel me? Go look back at your third, how you were moving, the uh, uh, how dense your pin was in that third, and that's good. Won't nobody be able to really fuck with you if you go back and do that. If you go back and you had that same type of energy and pin work, won't, it's not, not too many niggas. I'm not going to say nobody, but not too many niggas be able to fuck with you, period, in all of battle rap, not just the Northwest. But salute to show out the Mac and J Flo. You already know what time it is. You did your thing. You said you wasn't going to play with him, and you definitely didn't play. I kind of think you let off the gas a little bit in that third, though. I think you let off the gas. I, Hey, you, hey, hey, you could have had you a 30, but shit, you still got you a victory in my book. Salute to both of these young fellas. And uh, like I said, man, like I said to the previous artists, these are two people that we, uh, they, I feel like they both earned the right to be booked again, and we need to see them again against quality talent. You feel me? They moving up the ranks and they both tearing shit up. You feel me? They both been tearing shit up. But next up, we got D oh shit. Oh, let me get the name. I said D Lie. D Fly <laughs> versus Heretic. This battle right here, you talking about debatable. This motherfucking battle is debatable like a motherfucker for real. Um D Fly came in with that energy. Heretic came in with them angles. Whew, we're going to have to run that footage real quick. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I know it's a small sample size, but I like what both of these artists did. They both did their thing to me. Let's go. I said, before I get started with this rapping shit, I'm going to need you to shut the fuck up with no rapping shit. Hey, I couldn't believe it when they said it was calling out his face. I said, we can't. Call in a replacement? <laughs> it's the first round. I know y'all want to see me work with angles, but I'd rather hand you an L like a shirt from Famous, your last battle. Uh, your last battle was debatable. Facts. Mod was a clean 3-0. That alone should tell you. I could show you how to flow a verse and verse of flow, what you know about? Nah. Oh, okay. What you know about really catching a victim, walking down on your op while catching them slipping, then giving the body an extra shot because it was still twitching. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Gumbar God, 
I really pack those tools. Like I'm really shooting shit. Like, but you talking about all these guns in your bars like you're really shooting shit, but it's all a bunch of talk. All you do is shoot the shit. Now deep fly! Are we gonna put on a classic? Or are you gonna waste whole rounds rapping about how you like your women matching? Don't get it twisted, like I don't like some big titties and fat asses. But if you do that shit, well it's really gonna be a big body, and I'm not talking about a fat chick. But back on me, you better pick your angles carefully. It took your time to really write. So you were prepared for me. So you were prepared for me. See, bitch, this isn't charity, and I'm not a psychiatrist, so I ain't giving you free therapy. But D Flash, pity party, let's get it started. Time for you to tell us every problem you had, take you back to kindergarten. That shit might have worked in the past, but not today, not here. And if this son of a bitch just tells us sob stories, I'll make sure he really drops tears. Because the first time you told us how difficult your life was, we thought, wow, that was a touching story. The 30th time you told us how difficult your life was, we thought, wow, that's fucking boring. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, just little clips, little clips. But once again, D Fly versus Heretic. This battle was very debatable. I think it's a two one either way. One thing that I can say is that um, Heretic definitely won that first round. Definitely won that first round. And uh, well, he edged the first round to me. Not definitely. He edged the first round. And the third round, D Fly clearly took the third round to me. The second round is the debatable round. It's like you got punch, the Northwest punch guard versus one of the the, the best anglers <laughs> in the Northwest hemisphere. I said hemisphere. I should just say state, but fuck that. Heretic is nice. Put some respect on his name. But uh, with that being said, though, dope, dope battle. This is this is definitely one that uh, I believe has replay value. I think both of them, both of them brought it, and I think both of them, uh, they they both they both shot at each other. They both stuck to what they do best, and I think that's what carried them through this uh, through this battle. Um, once again, you had people kind of chattering and talking through their rounds, but both of them performed like veterans. You feel me? Both of them have been in the game for a decade plus. You dig? So they both knew what they were doing. Uh, both of them are low-key already Northwest legends, for those of you who are not from the Northwest watching this. Uh, but they both were fire. So I got a 2-1 either way. That second round, I got to rewatch that second round again. Because Heretic was talking, but then D-Fly took it to another level, too. Ah! That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, boy, you being so political. Nah, I don't like jumping to conclusions because you know I like hey, I like breaking down shit after I actually watch the battles, like watch them over again and shit. That's the type of nigga I am. But anyways, uh, salute to D Fly, salute to Heretic. These are two guys that I can't wait to see again. And I know both of them have battles coming up. Um, I think D Fly actually has one coming up in uh in August. Shouts out to ABL or whatnot. And uh, yeah, I, I know Heretic. He's a uh, uh, shout out to Forms. He's by MCs. He actually runs his own league, and he was the, he was the cameraman. The cameraman had to put down the camera to come rap. Come on, talk to the people. They don't they don't feel me. Heretic. They not feeling me, bro. They not feeling me. I'm trying to keep it 100. I'm trying to keep it 100. D Fly. Make these niggas respect that punch. Make these niggas in the Northwest respect that punch, sir. I see. You. But with that being said, dope ass battle. Dope ass battle. Transitioning to Demo versus After. Now, this battle right here, I got to clap it up. Why am I clapping it up? Because both of these fellas was trying to, they both were rapping like they were, hey, they were trying to end each other. I love seeing the sport. You feel me? They got, they were cool after the battle and all of that shit, which is dope, which is dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to be political, all of that shit. But both of these niggas was really trying to like, ah, like, like, nigga, die. And when I say that that was super dope, that was super dope. And, um, yeah, man, uh, I, man, fuck that. We got to roll. We got to show some footage of this one. We got to show some footage of this one. d was talking after was talking and, hey, let's get to it. When we have issues, we just rolling our dice while shooting our shit. Bitch, I came here to crap with you. Roll bands. Drop bands or flat issues. They don't give a fuck about you now, but the 
thing that I'm pulling out will make the fans miss you. you. I wrote so hard for this battle, I broke my pencil. So this is driven from my pencil. Come on, come on. I pay my dues and I'm not full of ten dollar bills. That means I get it tenfold. A clear mind and clear waters. I came from the bottom. That means shit could get murky at the first sign of agitation. Think of a headshot. Bow, I'll stretch you out by any stretch of imagination. <laughs> In that water, I'll leave you waiting until hell freezes over. And then I'm skating. OJ couldn't fit that glove. I am the glove. I'm Gary. P nah, I don't know. Oh. Say, my only test is pressure, so I apply it. Tell I'm done with the job, my shit is proper. Think Olympic boxer, I can punch with the guards. He better talk to me nice, or I'll punish his jaw. Testing his hands, get left on the canvas. If you ain't got something to draw, hey, yo, I'm back. Hey. What you thought it was? I was gonna quit? Nah. I still put my heart in this shit, I ain't lost the love. Even though battle rap done turned into a gossip club, and you might as well be a massage therapist with all the shoulders you gotta rub. Mm -hmm. But I said, fuck. I guess I might as well take one last shot since I lost the buzz. I got work to do. So I can give a fuck about you and your man's hate, cause I was raised in the field. But it's more like a plantation, I live in a trap. No. Not the kind you sell drugs from. I mean the kind you really gotta escape. And all you get is a good luck, son. Meanwhile, you're surrounded by cowboys and gangsters and they both love guns. I'll show up knocking at your door. Whoa, you see what I'm talking about? Both of them was talking. And um with with this battle, like I said, uh this was a this was another debatable battle. Um if I had to give somebody get into the first round, I would say I got after taking that first round. I got Moan taking the second round, and the third round to me is a toss up. It's a toss up. Um, it comes definitely comes down to the third man because after was talking, he was talking, but Moan though, Moan with that mirror, mirror. <laughs> anyways, anyways, um, fire ass battle. Uh, shouts out to D Moan. Shouts out to After. I think that I think that both of these fellas brought it. This was another fire battle that's gonna have mad replay value when it drops. And I know Moan was uh he does his uh he he's one of the uh one of the uh co-owners of Scott Tier Northwest, you feel me? That league. So that league brought us his work. So I know he was being a league owner and he was writing. So I know that's difficult. But after Shouts out to you. I see that I see that you just won a, a, a award back where you from or whatnot. So salute to you, man. Keep doing y'all thing. Both of y'all, both of y'all brought it. Like I said, very debatable. I wish I can get y'all a winner right now, but nah, nah, you know me. Normally, how I do it is I, I got my scorecards and shit. Normally, when I'm not doing this media, when I'm not all in people's faces with cameras and shit, as y'all seen with the interviews and shit I had, I'm 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 tallying up. I'm 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 getting more of a feel, but this still was a fire battle overall. So salute to both of these fellas. Uh, we definitely got to see them again. Demon, we need your ass in the ring again. I know you got to be Mr. Big Mr. Political. We got to see you in the ring again. After I know you be rapping. I know you got bars. You can rap on beat, etc. I need to see you in this ring because you even said in your rhymes you said. Uh, you 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 watching all these people? That's uh that's 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 uh why you sitting out, move and advance, and you, you feel like you better than them. So hey, why not? This is this is the best time to prove this shit. So salute to both of these fellas. Moving on to dot everything versus hypnosis. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> before I speak on this battle, before I speak on this battle. I'm just gonna roll the footage. Footage. Let's go. Oh shit. We could have got plenty paid. But I said, fuck that. We gonna get more love here anyway. Let's cut the bullshit off the top. I ain't with the back and forth talking, I. We both know I'm only here because Mark One costs a lot. Y'all know what rhymes with hypnosis? Y'all know what rhymes with hypnosis? What is that? His timing, this shit's hopeless. 
I start sliding the cig, smoking offhand on the front of the cannon. Get focused. Yeah. Oh, wow. God, I'm hotter than this solstice. I won every battle. Give a fuck if I did choke it. Yeah, I've been fucking up. <laughs> and all the haters hyping out. But how the fuck they got me battling Jada Price gals? <laughs> I'm a rapper, but a man with it first. So we won't have no problem. Long as you keep your fucking hands off my shirt. Yeah. Awkward to stop on the new pole. Fold up, I hopped out. Leave your fucking Uso sold up. Yeah. Long arm, it's like you fold over. I'm pulling it the best. Another Washington nigga running with bullets to the chest. Yikes! His stomach and his mullet get the wretch. I pop up with some 45 ACP. Start knocking on your door with my ACG. He looked through the peephole, frozen, fear got him. One shot put his head through the door like, here's Johnny, nigga. <laughs> hey, Talk to me on the scene. Look at this, it's been a while. This whole thing's intense. Empty money, I apologize. I'm the one who told EK can't battle today, but tomorrow. And the reason why is, bitch, I'm the main event. Yeah. Shout out to Art and Lindsay for giving me this plate. <laughs> it's a good thing at least I know how to recook frozen pizza. I know for a fact that Lindsay expects me to load this meat. I even got Art staring at me while I'm moving this room like Mona Lisa. Come on. <laughs> Boy, don't do things alone. This is why you had to face the forbidden reaper. Yes, you thought you was going to run and hide away from me like you did in Phoenix? Oh. Fuck the clown. Yeah, this shit ain't going down. You ain't no way ain't nobody could avoid this boy. Clapping towards him. Wrong with me and said, you got everything. I was like, what? <laughs> ain't no avoiding that. I know I got everything. Yeah. Bitch, I'm a spoiled brat. I make my pizza. Ain't no sweet. Yeah. I'm a 38 special brew in his mug. Like a C-Nice drink, a man. It's looking like his nose is broken. Now, I'm going to keep it 100. That did his thing. That was talking. All three rounds. That was fire. He was fire all three rounds. But his rounds were short. And hypnosis, the way that hip was talking, I'm sorry. I got hip with the 30. Hip with the 30. I felt like hypnosis showed the world, specifically the Northwest, why he's a legend. You feel me? Dot came in and he did what he did. I know he only rapped for like two, two minutes, two and a half minutes per round. But Hip came in there with about three and a half minutes more of, uh, 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 of material each round. But he was hitting, man. Y'all know the game, NBA Jam? He's on fire, and it increases your chances every time to hit back to back to back. That was hypnosis. Wait till y'all see this battle. I'm gonna say this now. I'm not even gonna wait to the end of the uh, uh, to the to the end of this. Hit the, the 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 performer of this whole entire event with all of these fire battles on it was definitely hypnosis. Hypnosis, even like hip even had fucking lush one. Shout out to lush one. Because he hosted the event. But he even had Lush One talking about KOT need to pick this guy up. We got to get him. That's how fired. I'm telling you, man. The guy was motivated. And what caught me off guard is I remember his last battle that I seen him at uh, versus, uh, versus a gentleman by the name of Spasmatic. And granted, that, that battle is debatable. I felt like he kind of took it. He took it a little light on Spaz. He was freestyling most of the most of the uh, the last two rounds specifically, where this battle it looked like he took serious. And when I asked him after the battle specifically, I was like, "Yo, 
like what, like what, like like you seem very motiv- motivated. And I and I asked him why. He said because, and if you're a battle rapper in the Northwest, you should be listening to this clearly. He said because when somebody that's fire or has a name that's that that's risen or still rising that a lot of people know comes to your city, and you rapping in your city, you got to defend your city, and you got to take that shit super serious, and you got to max out so they can get the fuck on. Whoever come in can get the fuck on. Like I said, Dot, Dot did his thing. Dot is nice. Dot said he's losing a lot of, he's losing a little bit of love for the sport. You feel me? Because he's had six months to prepare, et cetera. But Hip came in and Hip tried to murder this man in broad daylight. Hip tried to kill his man in broad daylight. Well, I don't know if it was a night. It was nighttime. My fault. He was just trying. He was trying to kill this guy in front of everybody. My bad. Not in broad daylight. Let me take that back. Uh, but with that being said, yeah, this was a dope battle. It was. It was. It was cool back and forth. Like I said, Dot has some fire, but Hip was just on another level. And this is how you show the. This is how you show. This is how you prove to everybody that you know what the fuck you're doing and that you're a legend and, and that you know this shit. And this is how you defend your home turf. So salute to Dot Everything and salute to Hypnosis. That was a that was an amazing display of work from them both, but especially, especially from Hypnosis. Another level. Next up, though, Salem Hush versus Bobby Lee. <laughs> it got dark. It got dark. It got dark. I know. I know. Wait till you see it on vid on cam, but in the building. It was looking, it, it looked a little bit ugly. But uh, with these little clips, y'all tell me what y'all think, though. You pregnant with emotion, but project that onto everybody as a plight. You were mad about KOTV. <clears throat> Depressed you ain't get picked for starting. Them updates tear your coochie apart. <laughs> <laughs> you should see how a postpartum I think you suffer from boredom. I did my movie updates years ago, but now I got a post-mortem and hunt down the stride. To body turn blue like apocalypto for a light coin, I'll bury you under the church. Welcome to the crypto when you ignore me. You look like the type we extort. You literally look like a orc, but your girl dig finds like she fuck with a dwarf. You came with big pork? You with the cops? You tell me. I'll spark bleeds, cause I'm in another league. I'm on you well, B. I got made talk by the kids. And I'll spray it to your face. Come on, shit spicy. It's head. Like Yoshi G's team. I'm just in shit. And I'll show you no shit. Trying to play tough with, instead of squaring up like a man, you may still. Like a straight up bitch. I guess that's what you meant when you told Stewie, yo, fight. You just right play that shit. Uh-huh. Bitch, I let it ring on a kid like a planeteer. Oh, I light up this whole ceiling. That's the chandelier. You ain't the man of fear. You do goofy shit, run and hide your hand with a static snare. That shit make me want to cuss out God. Literally question the man upstairs, like, how the fuck you take stay solo and slim and leave this bitch nigga standing here? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Homie, I'm on the block, cause I gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah. You're a fucking fat ass nerd that watch Dragon Ball Z. Cause you look like Monty Boo. I'm top shit. <laughs> watch me cook this loser on camera. I'm Bobby, Bobby Boy. Boy. Oh, Salem Hush versus Bobby Lee. This is uh this was uh this was a good battle. This was a good battle. Uh, if I had to, um, if I had to give this battle to somebody, I'm definitely gonna give it to Bobby Lee. Two one, the first two rounds clear. I almost could have won the third. I almost could have won the third, but I actually got Hush winning that third round. I think Hush picked it up. But those first two rounds from Bobby Lee were. Wait till y'all. Wait till wait till the footage drop, y'all. I felt like the way that he was talking to Hush. 
directly. It wasn't no random setup like this, like that, like this. Nah, it was like, yo, like, 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 nigga, he is hard. It's hard to battle when you're hated, like Hush is, and you've been through a whole bunch of situations where you got a lot of dirt that accumulated around you that nobody is fully cleaned up and, 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 and brought to you yet. And somebody from out of town comes in and like like comes in your face with it, like here, this is all this is all the bullshit that you've been on. And confronts you with it. That was if he would have had another round, because he you hush, you know I rock with you. You know I rock with you. I like I I I I like I, I, I like you as a battle rapper. I think that you're a cool guy outside. You never did me dirty or whatnot, but Bobby was he talked to your soul. He he was he was one round away from sending you the rich dollars, bro. He was one round away from sending you the rich dollars. That's how that's how deep he was getting. It wasn't about punch lines, it wasn't about none of that. And the viral clip with the hat, people think that that's like like that's a viral moment. Fire. Not taking anything away from that moment. But the substance in those first two rounds as a whole. Wait to and, and and if you from the northwest, you know what the fuck you. Oh my gosh! But another thing with Hush, especially in those first two rounds, with all of that ammo, like shot at him, that was actually hidden. I feel like Hush was like he was super monotone. He was like, yeah, you know, if I put this in the sky, then yeah, I'll make you fly, and then I'll just do this. You'll be on the ground, and I'll just be driving by. You can't know. You got to turn up. When somebody barking at you like that, you got to turn up. You feel me? You got to. I don't feel like you fought back. I feel I feel like when it when when this does go uh, when 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 the battle does drop specifically, I think people are going to look at it and be like, oh, shit, Hush was saying some shit. But when you in a when, when you I don't I don't know how much it's going to translate compared to what Bobby was saying to you and the energy that Bobby had, because Bobby turned it up. Bobby turned it up. Y'all haven't seen the battle yet, so I know y'all are like, B, what you talking about? This, that, this, that. No. No. He was talking to Hush. And Hush was talking too, but Hush was like, he was like, you super low. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, with somebody barking in your face, fuck that, man. Turn up, Hush. I know you can. But yeah, I got this 2-1 uh, Bobby Flay. Clear. Clear. Shouts out to both of these artists. Um, man, it was it was a dope. It was it was it, it, the moments that were created in that battle can, it will never be forgotten, especially if you were in that building. But uh, next up, the main event. I know we finally here. It's been thirty something minutes, and we still are here talking. Thank y'all for still rocking with your boy on this premiere. But shout out to Scott here Northwest. But the battle that every a lot of people truly came for. Empty money versus Emerson Kennedy. This is a uh, this battle right here. We're gonna talk about it. A roll of footage. Let's go. The last person I battled from his state was the vice president of they had Utah. He got blocked. <laughs> now this is what they say to me. Utah. I killed your vice president, they gonna send me. Now I gotta show a demonstration. Hey. Hey.
Money, why don't you ask around? That cliche shit you passing down, I mean, your story packs a punch. Why do you only rap about packs and pounds? Look, hold on. Mm. Why do you only rap about packs and pounds? I know this land was stolen from you. And you respond by acting down. And now the only thing you've mastered is exactly how your master sound. Now take this and pack no. it down. <laughs> yeah. Now take this and pack it down. Cause this ain't how a man act. I plan that. A change in our people, I demand that. I'm lobbying for change. You've changed for some hand claps. Trying to win a battle. I'm trying to win the rest of your land back. I'm back in this. Oh shit. It's fast, fast. And now you think he's supposed to hate me more. Now he's This is one of the ones. This is one of the ones. Um, I got the, this battle was a classic. This battle was a classic to me. Uh, can't nobody tell me nothing. This battle was definitely a classic. Um, both parties came with it. And I feel like MT did it for uh, Lummy Nation. He did it for Lummy Nation. Threw up them L's, did, did exactly what he was supposed to do. He came in and handled his business. And EK did not let off the gas. He was talking to him. First round, if I had to give the first round to somebody, I think MT. MT went crazy in this first. Second round, Emerson Kennedy with the rebuttals and the freestyles. He, he had three of them things. He had three of them things. He was talking. Um, I had a 1-1 one, one going into the third. The third, Emerson Kennedy was uh he 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 was nice. He was a little short. The round was a little short, but MT talking about his land, where he come from. You feel me? Nigga, I don't care if I even get one view. At least I know it came from here. Talk. Y'all not feeling me. Y'all not feeling me at all. Ah. But yeah, MT third round. That's MT third round was one of those uh like that that that's a that's definitely a round of the year. Uh in, in round of the in round of the year contention, should I say. MT was talking. Like you he was when somebody is rapping and you get goosebumps and you feel the message, and you're not even from where they're from, but they're speaking their story and you feel them and you and you resonate with what they're saying. The shit was crazy, man. The shit was crazy. But all in all, I got a 2-1 MT money. I think MT did his thing, man. I, I love what MT did. You can't, like, can't nobody tell me nothing. MT did his fucking thing. Uh, Emerson Kennedy did his fucking thing, too, because that first round, the MT won. Um, some people are going to say that round's debatable. And I believe it is, but I think MT just had a, a, a tad bit more. Because that... What in the in, in that first round is what he elevated in the second round, bringing uh, bringing that native talk, transitioning it to real talk. Why are you not doing what you what are you doing for your community? What are you doing to in better? I mean to to make things better. That was that was crazy. That was crazy. First round, like I said, he was he was dope with it. But second round is when he took off. But MT took off in that first, and he was dope in the second, but the second wasn't enough. And the third, he definitely took that third to me. Definitely took a third. Uh, but salute to both of these artists. I think both of them uh I, I I think both of them made a classic, man. That was in the building, that was a classic to me. It was more than just a punchline or just uh, a few moments here and there. This it was moments all throughout the battle, and the back and forth was amazing. The back and forth was amazing. Like shouts out to both of these guys. I felt like I felt like the culture won with this battle. And I know a lot of places that are on the West Coast don't consider the Northwest a part of the West, but we are. And since we are part of the West, I think that this is one of the ones that other leagues, other award shows and everything need to look into this battle because this is possibly a battle of the year contender. This was my, even though this happened the next day, I'm not going to say battle of the night. This was the battle of the event to me. No disrespect to any of the other battlers that did their thing. But this one, it didn't, it didn't live up to the hype. It exceeded it. You feel me? Like, listen to what I'm saying. 
it didn't live up to a hype. It exceeded the shit that we expected. It exceeded that motherfucker. So salute to them. But anyways, uh, shouts out to Sky Tier Northwest once again. That was my recap of the battles. I know it's been a little minute. I've been on here for damn near 45 minutes talking. But thank y'all for rocking with me. And shit, man, I had a ball. I had a ball, man. You feel me? Everybody, um, before the battle was fun. During the battles, it was fun. After the battles, it was fun. When I say that uh, we need to have more events like this in the Northwest, we need to have more events like this. And I know that um, I know that the ULB, which is another up, was an up and coming league that's pretty that's growing at a rapid pace. I know they have an event coming up, which is going to be dope in July. I know that uh, ABL Alliance Battle League, shouts out to them. Um, I know that they got a fire event coming up in August. Salute to Boomer and uh, and Simi and all those guys. Um, and I know that Forum Seas by MCs has a has the event coming up too within the next three or four months. We need this. This is how you push the culture forward in the Northwest. You have events like this. Look at the blueprint of this motherfucker. Make it happen. Make it happen. And if you're a battle rapper and somebody and you're going against a name and they're coming from all the way across the country and that's supposed to be top tier, god tier, mid tier, whatever. If you on that stage with them and you going against them, you got a right. You got a right to try to smoke their boots. None of that friendly. Oh my gosh, some stars trick. Oh, oh my gosh, there goes Murder Mook in front of me. Nah, if Murder Mook stands in front of one of y'all niggas, y'all better try to kill that nigga and salute to Mook. Mook cool with the platform. He didn't been on my platform before. Salute to him. If Lux come out here and you feel like you're a writer and you about to battle Loaded Lux. Even though Loaded Lux has the status, the status that he got, you should be trying to kill that nigga, man. Especially when it's home, when you home in front of your peoples and you setting that example. But who am I? I'm just BA. Get your bars up media, right? But anyways, I got to get up out of here. Fire event. That was my recap of uh, the Upper 360. Shouts out to Sky to Northwest again. Uh, thank y'all for having me. And uh, I can't wait for y'all next event. Period. But anyways, this is your boy BA for Real 100. This is Get Your Bars Up Media. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button. You rock with me, I rock with you. And if you're out there hating, just because you think I'm a new guy, you just not stumbling upon my page and I've been doing this for a minute. <laughs> and all I can truly say is thank you for coming and get your bars up. Salute, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this event. Tell me if y'all if y'all like if y'all like my little recap process with the little clips and shit at it. Cause I don't do it like I haven't done it like that in a minute, but it's fun. It's fun actually talking about the shit. And I know a lot of y'all niggas, since this was pretty much an exclusive event, I know a lot of y'all niggas ain't seen it. So I try to give y'all a little love. Try to give y'all a little love. Not trying to create no narrative, though. Not trying to create no narratives, but I try to show you a little love. But anyways, y'all be easy. Peace and love. Get at your boy. Yeah, sick of dreaming of my old shit. Sick of being on some broke shit. Sick of showing no emotions. Got a nigga losing focus. So I'm going on a road trip, got my bags packed with some drol lit during COVID's when I wrote this masterpiece, magnum opus. I ain't joking, I hope there's more for me. It costs to live, we can explore for free. Dreams of waking up on a gorgeous beach. Lazy, I never could have. Yeah, get your thoughts on media, man. I appreciate you having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Ah, ah <laughs> tell these niggas.